Hey, it's Joe Glines. In the second video on Fiddler, um, in the previous video, I demonstrated how you can uh, filter traffic by basically finding something here. Let's say, actually, yeah, this SVC host that that I believe is like an internal Windows thing, and um, you know, just the more junk that's in here, the harder it is to keep track of what you're doing. So you could come in here and say filter now, and I can hide the like the the process ID or the name of it. Um, I can only show it, but this is, it, it to some degree, um, it's a little limiting, especially like, let's say I was doing something, some web scraping in Chrome, and I wanted to keep all my Chrome traffic or specifically to a website, um, so I couldn't really use that. But I can I can hide here, and then I can go through in each one of these and slowly whittle it down. The, um, one of the disadvantages of that is also, once I close Fiddler, I reopen it, it's all gone. I have to do it all over again, and it's just tedious and time consuming, because there's a lot of things like, um, Chrome, you can see in here that SVC host. Um, if I have like Zoom open and Push Bullet in my email, and it's you know all these things and Hangouts, there's all these things that are constantly going on in traffic. So what I realized was there's over here in filters, um, you can create a filter. So I'm gonna say use filters. Now this is sticky, so when you turn it on, even when you close Fiddler and reopen it, it still stays there. Um, I've gone through and found common ones that I don't want to watch the traffic for. Um, now granted on a use case scenario this may differ but I can easily apply this and then I can turn it on and then say oh now run the filter set and it really really cleans up that traffic down to very specific stuff. I could also come in here and say only show traffic from and let's say if I wanted it from um, well it, it doesn't it, it, you know let's say uh, oh actually that's interesting um Oh, that's the process. I'm sorry. I'm thinking the wrong one. So you can do that um, right here was the one I was thinking of is uh, if I want specific traffic to like a website. And the cool thing about this is that's um, process agnostic. So I can say, hey, I'm working on this API call or a web scraping thing to LinkedIn or whatever. Um, I can put it here. And that way, whether I'm using Chrome Internet Explorer or my auto hotkey stuff, it'll still only display that traffic. And so it's a great way to lock it down. The other awesome thing is I can come in here and I can say, hey, let's save this filter set. Um, and I've created my one main traffic. That's what this one is right here, but you could save a different one, right? And you can have them curtailed to what you want. And again, when you, um, it'll keep track of the last one you had up here. So if I close Fiddler and reopen it, it will reapply it, which of course is important to remember when you actually do that and you, you know, you, you, you wait a month and you come back and you start using it and you say, why is no traffic showing up? Well, you got to remember you have filters on, right? But, um, I think this is an awesome way. There's a lot of other settings in here. Oh, this other hide traffic from service host that was the svc host thing so i definitely recommend checking that one because unless you're trying to detect what windows is doing um but yeah it, anyway it's pretty awesome i think it's a great easy way to um clean this up and allow you to focus on what you're trying to do instead of have all this other traffic that just confuses things all right cheers